All right, hello world. So this is a replay that was sent in to me by a viewer, and I am actually not sure which player he is. He didn't indicate that in the uh, in the message, and his name is just his real name, which I'm not gonna not gonna say. And um, short to say that he's his name is Phil, and uh, yeah. I <laughs> I really have no idea which one he is. Um, that's actually kind of nice because most of the time when people send in a replay, it's uh, one where they it's a game where they won, and uh, it's kind of nice to not have any uh, not have any idea um, not have any idea in advance which way it's going to go. So we had advanced warfare pick for Rufio, and. Uh, what we have here looks like Soviet Shock Army picked by um, Severino. That's interesting. The both of these players pick those commanders. Um, usually in a two v two, and especially one on Minsk Pocket, um, you'll get uh, at least one player going for an ISU one fifty two or just some kind of heavy tank. Um, it's pretty easy to hold onto your fuel throughout the match, and um, the long sight lines really favor the. Um, really favor the super heavy tanks um, but that's interesting we'll see how this goes <laughs> um, I mean maybe Severino is gonna get himself a howitzer I would love to see that um, and yeah I mean you do you can get the T-3485s out of Advanced Warfare which um, I usually think of Advanced Warfare as more of a 1v1 commander um, though it's I mean I think it's extremely useful I don't think there it's, it's I'm not entirely sure if it's even possible to get this commander out of war spoils. Um, maybe someone can say I got it from just the promotion where it became, uh, where it was just available and granted to everyone who logged in to the game at a certain point. Um, the double OKW players, uh, neither one of them has picked a commander yet, and. We have the first fight occurring between some conscripts and a Maxim against a squad of Stern Pioneers. Stern Pioneers should be able to complete the cap in the munitions sector. It looks like they're actually going to be able to back away without getting suppressed. They do take a casualty, though. And on they go back to the uh, to the battle group headquarters to get fixed up. Double battle group headquarters. It's, uh, hmm, okay. Um, one of the advantages of playing a 2v2 is that you, can, um, you don't... You can get the mechanized regiment headquarters and the battle group headquarters, but maybe both players just want to have forward retreat points on this map. Grenade kills a couple, well, does a lot of damage and kills one of the members of the machine gun squad. We have another machine gun down in the south, and yeah, it looks like there's no tech from, uh, from Rufio yet. So the commander that he's picked uh, goes quite well if you combine it with tier 4 also. So I'm wondering if we'll see that from him. So many suppressed guys. Um, yeah, that Volksrenager squad is just getting shot at by the combat engineers, and I'm pretty sure that as long as they're suppressed and being shot at, they will never, ever come out of suppression. Early AT gun from... Oh, God. Oh, those conscript squads. I'm really surprised that... Um, that Rookman didn't try to just chase them down and get the kill. Uh, early AT gun, possibly trying to rush the uh, the battle group headquarters um, with Maxims plus AT gun and just kill that thing and cause all those resources to go to waste. So we can see the forward retreat point being upgraded from Rookman. Let's see, he's got to have a small army if that's the case. Yeah, he went for um, for Luftwaffe. And got himself a machine gun. And apart from that, he's just got two Volksgrenadiers and a very badly damaged squad of um, of Sturm Pioneers. Forward retreat point also on his battle group headquarters. That's about to complete. And oh man, looks like a Molotov getting thrown really suicidally. This concert squad is surely going to go down. It gets killed. The tree catches on fire. That looks really nice. And Conscripts plus Maxim pushing up a bunch of damage done to that uh, Maxim. It's nearly dead. And I can see that there's also the uh, <laughs> the battle group headquarters over here on the left has um, 
been upgraded with the forward retreat point as well. So these uh, these players are investing a lot, a lot into um, their uh, into their forward retreat points. Uh, I mean, once again, I think maybe would have been better off if one of them had gone for uh, tier two, um, while the other one went tier one. You see a demo charge going down on the top BP, and the Axis are starting to take back their munitions point. Molotov thrown, but it looks like these turn pioneers, or actually maybe they are standing in the fire. Okay, they're out of the fire now. They're taking a lot of damage from these uh, multiple squads of conscripts, but I think the conscripts are not going to be able to last here. The sandbag placement is not particularly great. Um, when you put down a sandbag, you really want to put it at the edge of the. Um, ugh, the guys getting burned down by their own um, <laughs> by their own molotovs. Uh, when you put down sandbags, try to put them at the edge of the capping territory so that uh, only the squad standing on one side can get the benefit of being in cover. So you can see these uh, <laughs> both of these squads are now in green cover and also uh, capturing the territory. We have a look back at the base. We've got healing up for Rufio and uh, healing is upgrading for Severino. Once again, this is not the best teamwork. Um, you only need one player really to get healing, although there's a limited number of medics. So uh, if you've got huge infantry armies as these players are going for, then it can be nice to have that. Plus, uh, you can find yourself floating manpower at some point, sometimes during the early game. These guys have been taking so many casualties that I can't imagine that's really the, uh, the issue. Severino's got himself some shock troopers, and they're going to do very nicely against the uh, infantry heavy armies from both of these players. Um, Rufman and Derek Fisher both have machine guns, but uh, Molotovs plus the smoke grenades and regular grenades, and soon we're going to have PPSHs on the conscripts as well. Uh, grenades totally missed, so nice move to try to throw it through the smoke. <laughs> no, don't run into your allies' smoke, or your allies' Molotov. These shock troops are just tearing up these uh, unvetted Volks Grenadiers. Maybe they might focus on the one with the Panzer Shrek and maybe try to get them to drop it. Killing the uh, Stern Pioneers would also be a nice move. And where's this AT gun? AT gun's moving up. Uh, could see like a barrage or just a truck get destroyed. And this could actually be a nice little attack right here if, uh, if Rufio spreads his forces out a little bit. Um, shock troops throw, it looks like a smoke grenade, no it's a regular grenade, ooh, that does a good bit of damage, double molotovs go in onto the uh, machine gun, but there is lots of infantry waiting to intercept these squads, so they retreat, Maxim catches the Sturm Pioneers, and <laughs> this machine gun is uh, reinforcing as it's also burning to death, AT gun, no, uh, no, not actually firing on the battle group headquarters, and now it's getting attacked. It could end up getting cleared out here by these, uh, these Volk Trinadiers, who are getting shot at by the Maxim and also by the Conscripts. They're just taking damage. It's just a brutal melee here in the middle. AT gun is beginning to fire on the battle group headquarters. Oh, uh, barrage right here would be disgusting. In a good way. Stern Pioneers forced on back to base, and lots of grenades destroy, well, kill the crew of the AT gun, and this machine gun uh, got four kills up to vet one, and is proving to be a real headache. Um, something just blew up, probably the demo charge at the top, and nope, it's still there. What? Conscripts lay a mine in the middle of the fight. Actually, they're probably far enough back that uh, they didn't get spotted doing that, and the AT gun has been claimed by Rootman, and yeah, just utterly sacrificed for uh, no particular gain by the allied players. Um, <laughs> Rufio is getting himself some more uh, conscripts. He's Right now he's got five conscripts and he's getting himself a sixth, sixth squad. Though I think they're going to uh, find diminishing returns on that. Shock troops might actually be able to out-DPS these um, or get enough, do enough damage to uh, kill one of these squads, but now they're both reinforcing and shock troops retreat down with three men. I think that was a bundled grenade, yes, from the Fall from Jaeger. And would have been nice to see a Zis barrage. Uh, you know, if you steal that thing, you might as well make good use of it. Sure, Panzer headquarters is firing onto the conscript squads as they try to take down the uh, 
they try to take down the munitions point. They're actually, I think if they stay right at the extreme edge, they should be able to take that down without um, without ill effect to themselves. It's too bad this squad doesn't have uh, doesn't have PPSHs on it. He's been throwing so many Molotovs that he's got to be hurting a bit for munitions. Yeah, so Rupio only has one squad with PPSHs, and... PPSH is plus some maxim backup makes it pretty good force for attacking up into uh, lots of enemy infantry. The second Schwer of Panzer headquarters is going up, and these are so close together. This is um, hmm. All right. It's too bad the AT gun isn't still alive. Shock troops chase the uh, Sturm pioneers the short distance back to their uh, battle group headquarters, and. Uh, the German players have themselves a nice little pocket carved out. These some pretty ineffective attacks, to be honest. They're going in from uh, from the Allied players. They're just uh, losing. They're just losing manpower again and again, attacking into this uh, attacking into the German position. Um, they could try to hold back a little bit, play play more passively, let the Germans come to them. Um, Clearly a Molotov trying to be thrown here. It's, uh, Derek Fisher really probably should have just packed up and moved his squad back. Oh! An entire squad gets killed by a mine um, in the center. I don't have time to go zoom in and see what it was. But I'm going to assume it was a Volksgrenadier. Severino's got two squads of shock troops now, plus a mortar. And with a Lukes out and no player on the Soviet side with any form of anti-tank apart from AT grenades. Um, both players are getting AT grenades right now. Or I should say Severino already has AT grenades and Rubio is upgrading them. This Lux is uh, going to be free to wreak havoc on the Soviet armies. Oh. These shock troops are going to start taking casualties. And if the Lux pursues them, could go, they could go down, but at the same time, he's backing into some conscripts. They throw an AT grenade, and with all of these conscripts, the Lux could actually get killed purely by, by AT grenades. Uh, Rufio, however, doesn't have enough munitions to throw any, and Severino's only got one squad of conscripts in this city. So... I think the, uh... <laughs> The Lux is going to safely make it back to its own lines, gets another uh, another mine thrown onto it, but surely there will be some Sturm Pioneers coming up to fix it. Uh, S mines down from Derek Fisher, who went for um, Fortifications Doctrine. And Workman could do uh, could do his teammate a solid by moving this squad over to fix up his uh, fix up his damaged engine Lux. Very nice getting the uh, minesweepers. There's at least one more set of mines around that I can see. There's a demo charge up at the top. I just heard more mines get laid down. So, uh, good on Rufio to keep laying those. Um, honestly, I think it would have been a better... He would have been better off just putting down more mines rather than throwing so many Molotovs. Rufio's gone to your 2 and gotten himself an AT gun. And that is, once again, the only piece of anti-tank in, uh, in the Soviet army. A quick look at the tactical map. See more mines going down on the right as well, and these conscripts are going to try to. Looks like they're probably going to try to charge the middle. But uh, they're overlapping machine guns, very nicely placed. But you're going to stop the uh, stop this attack. This tracks the back of the Lukes. There's no no way this is going to work. Um, oh, 120 millimeter mortar, however, does clear the uh, machine gun. That's Ultimately, that's a minor loss. Um, that's easily going to get recruited, and Luke's is just still pushing forward. If it goes any farther forward, it's probably going to hit a mine. Goes out of control, and kills one more man as it retreats. Uh, good forward movement with the um, the Sturm pioneers. The mine sweepers out. Could move him even just a little bit farther forward. He's detected this mine right here, so that's not going to uh, harm his guys. And uh, he can't afford to try to sweep that right now. He's just going to keep pushing forward with his attack. Uh, now 
now I think his squad's gotten in a bit too deep and they need to, yeah, they need to retreat. There they go. The S mines aren't actually covering most of this territory sector. Um, you can see that uh, the left side is locked down pretty safely by this, just this one machine gun by itself. I feel like if one of the players had gone, uh, if either Severino or Rufio had gone tier 1, they could have gotten just uh, flamers in an M3 and been flanking like crazy, uh, particularly in the early game when the uh, both of the Axis players had invested so um, had invested so heavily into uh, their headquarters buildings and headquarters building upgrades. Uh, they would have been able to have probably an infantry advantage at that point. Machine gun retreats on back to his headquarters. Not a not a big distance. And you can see that the Axis are slowly expanding out across the map. I think these mine sweepers are going to get caught by the machine gun before they can actually do any work. Yep, and uh, they're just going to need to retreat. All right, off you go, guys. That does give the um, as a nice move. Uh, does keep the machine gun. Or <laughs> oh my God, another machine gun does keep the mines lit up long enough for. Um, for Rufio's to uh, flank in there, but with that second machine gun in the background, it's all for naught. Pack 43 uh, being built. Very nice positioning of that, actually. Um, that'll cover all of the defensive structures, though I don't think it's going to reach nearly far enough to cover one of the VPs. Um, use the Zis Barrage, getting three kills on that, and he's going to uh, make life hard for these squads as they try to charge up into the center. It's, uh, there's not a whole lot defending. I hear a Maxim firing in the back. Two 120mm mortars. On the left side, more conscripts ineffectively trying to attack in here, and Derek Fisher's even had time to put down a bunker covering this sector. Molotov gets thrown. It sounded like those Volks Grenadiers used a uh, um, American uh, voice file. This mine got revealed. Pretty sure this is a bug where uh, once revealed, the mines will stay revealed for like, well, a very, very long time. Shock troops and PPSH constructs trying to close up into the middle. If they get any closer, they're going to start doing a lot of damage onto this. Uh, Falsion Maker Squad, they're not firing! Okay, now they've stopped, they start shooting, and they're gonna have to retreat through this machine gun. Shock troops could do a bit more damage, maybe and clear the MG, but uh, unless they can clear both of them, ultimately it doesn't really matter. Um, these machine guns are covered by the Schwerer Panzer headquarters, and the AT gun could maybe start using attack ground to start shooting where they know the, uh, where the AT gun, or Schwerer Panzer headquarters is. So he's using a barrage, but actually the barrage can connect and hit these trees and explode harmlessly. But it's like he's getting, uh, so he's getting lucky with the shots landing where they are. But uh, so you don't need to do that. Just use attack, use uh, attack ground and uh, save yourself some munitions. Oh, conscripts take a huge hit, lose three men, and now we have a first T3045, which. Uh, I don't particularly like the T-76, but the T-3045 is so strong, and its main gun is just ridiculous against infantry. That said, there's a lot of anti-tank infantry coming up at the center. Um, at the same time, Rufio does have a constant repair kit for all of his conscripts, Ugh, so they'll be able to get that thing back up into to top shape quite quickly. Big explosion. I didn't see what that was. Kills a whole bunch of the... Um, whole bunch of infantry from... I think Derek Fisher. Oh boy, all of these squads are heading for a mine. And this AT gun is probably gonna, gonna get cleared as well. Derek Fisher claims it for himself. And retreats his squad on back to base. Might as well just um, salvage this AT gun. And. <laughs> be real. So far, this game has just been kind of a. Uh, OKW face stomping the, uh, the Soviet players, and we have all three buildings up for Derek Fisher, and he is uh, quite a long ways off from being able to get himself a, uh, a King Tiger if that's what he wants to do. 
but uh, together with his teammate and with his Pack 43 defending, um, he's going to be able to uh, save up for that no problem. This could be a really nasty walking Stuka barrage. Somehow the mine doesn't get cleared, and that's itself a few kills, not, not nearly as many as it probably could have. Um, T3485, a new one is out, and it manages to do a bit of damage onto the infantry. Nice, this other T3485, yeah, we can see a conscript repair kit being put to good use, and we ought to see the uh, health going up quickly on that. So this Pack 43 is actually really too far back to uh, trip much of this fight. Let's see how far can it shoot. T3485 is just beyond the range of it, and it's going to be able to clear out this machine gun bunker. I think the, uh... Well, Severino, what are you doing? He's getting himself a howitzer. Okay, that's a good pick. Uh, all against all this clumped up stuff. Um... I've heard people express misgivings about getting a howitzer when the uh, walking stuka is around, but the walking stuka tends to just, um, oh, that could be a nice strafe, but really fails to do a whole lot of damage. Oh, oh, plane crash, where did they go? Wow, that's extremely fortunate for the, um, the German players that the, uh, <laughs> uh, that, that plane didn't just land right on their headquarters. The second pack 43, okay. This is a terrible idea. Um, making a second pack 43 this close to your first pack 43. If you're going to make another pack 43, at least put it far enough away that it's going to be able to hit something else. Uh, as it is, Derek Fisher is going to end up with such a high pop cap as a result of this that he's not really going to be able to do a whole lot more with his army. Uh, first <laughs> T3045. Wow, that took quite a while. Uh, howitzer is firing. Looks like it's Severino. Where is it falling? Kills the pack 43, nice move. And another shot could do even more damage. So it's got five kills halfway up to vet two, and that's surely its first barrage. Uh, Walking Stuka is firing probably down here. Does a lot of damage to the uh, 120 millimeter mortar, but it's going to manage to escape. And Schwer Panzer headquarters is starting to take fire from the T 45. Infantry coming up to try to support. Is going to easily be able to back away from that. Panther, however, has arrived. The Panther versus two, two T3485s. So it's going to come down to how well each player uses them. Uh, the infantry is certainly going to chase them off. Panther takes a lot of damage. And I think the T3485s, it's time for them to go as all of the uh, additional AT starts moving up. I want to see when that howitzer is going to be ready to fire again. Hotkey that. All right. So a new pack 43 is up in a bit more defensive position. I don't think it's going to be particularly useful where it is. However, it's so far back, and most of the fighting is probably going to happen around. Let's see what its range is. It can cover the VP, but uh, again, the tanks just need to hang back a little bit. Nice strafe onto these uh, infantry, and they're also getting suppressed. Howitzer's firing, but I'm not sure where. Up here, it looks like, trying to hit the other Pack 43, maybe. Um, when you're using a Pack 43, uh, oh, plane is crashing. Where is it going? I hear it. Sounds like it crashed off map. When you're using the Pack 43, and you know that your opponent, or uh, when you're using a Howitzer, you know that your opponent has. Um, uh, his uh, battle group headquarters set as a port retreat point. It's really nice to try to. Uh... Oh, another plane crash. <laughs> We're probably going to hear that sound a lot. Uh, to try to fire the howitzer at the battle group headquarters as the squads are retreating. Um, you can get some really nasty kills that way. The Severino has got more than 500 fuel and hasn't teched up at all. Um, so it is. <laughs> Pop cap is up pretty high. I think he should probably start to maybe get himself a tier 4. Ooh, mortar gets killed. That's going to free up some pop cap. Get himself some SU 85s. So the SU 85 do struggle. Um, ah, so much damage. Mm. T3485 
fives are in a bit of danger right now, but with all this infantry clumped up the way it is, um, so are these squads of uh, so are these squads of Wolf's Grenadiers. They could go down to just one or two lucky hits. Howitzer is firing again. Oh, mortar kills one of the squads as it retreats. Now let's see where these uh, rockets are falling. Bombs are falling. Looks like he's trying to hit the pack 43 again. I believe I heard a walking Stuka fire. Pack 43 gets double bets. Actually, got three kills. Uh, four kills now. <laughs> oh man. Molotov finally goes in on this machine gun. That, uh, is that going to be enough? Looks like the infantry is, uh, the Soviet infantry is chased off on the left, and on the right side we have uh, some Falsher Mega probably popped out of this house to capture the BP, but they're running off after just decapping it. Howitzer's got six kills in Vet 1, which will let it use the Precision Strike, Precision Strike ability. Say that without sounding drunk. Um, let's see. Three infantry kills in the pack 43, and, uh, and one tank kill. So unfortunate to lose that, um, to lose that T30-45, and it'd be really nice to see maybe another fuel cache. So we do have one from Rufio, but he's got quite a lot of, uh, he's got quite a lot of manpower saved up. So he just bought himself another AT gun. And since his opponents aren't using Obersoldaten, that's a pretty good choice. Uh, Mortar Barrage going in onto the uh, Shreira Panzer headquarters, kills a bunch of guys there. Yeah, two pack 43s. This is such a uh, <laughs> this is a ridiculous overinvestment in anti-tank. Uh, one pack 43, generally speaking, is enough. Howitzer's firing again. First shot misses. More bar uh, mortar barrages going in as well. Walking Stuka is moving up to fire. If that thing gets hit by the howitzer, I'm gonna laugh. See the bombs coming in. Oh man. Clears the AT gun. And these uh pack 43s really should probably be put on um prioritized vehicles rather than just uh free fire. Oh, Panther fires, but uh, shot lands harmlessly on the ground, and uh, 345 did a nice job of shooting on to the uh, minefield to help clear that out a little bit. The game is slowing down quite a bit as the uh, Germans are fighting themselves uh, under artillery fire and not really pushing out uh, as aggressively as they need to. Um, if the Soviet players, yeah, so this is a good, very good move by Severino to put down mines on the, uh, on the approaches to his base. Um, when you get a... <laughs> Hell yeah, um, <laughs> I agree with that sentiment. Uh, the, uh... Soviets are putting down mines. Wow, double howitzers. This is okay. You get a hot key also. Um, yeah, this is what happens if you uh, turtle too much. You start getting pounded by indirect fire, and uh, all of these buildings so close together. This is also going to cause um, cause trouble for the vehicles pathing around. First howitzer's got 14 kills. <laughs> uh, is now up to vet two, and the second howitzer is nearly up to vet one with four kills. It's still firing, and this is such a uh, target-rich environment, I guess you could say, that um, they can pretty much fire indiscriminately back here, and, uh, and they're gonna hit something most of the time. <sighs> Man, I really wish these players were using their um, their APM to uh, fight rather than chat. Uh, so. <sighs> Double KT rush. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> probably gonna happen. But, that said, Severino's been doing a good job of laying down all these mines, so KT's, KTs do try to, uh, just attack, move the base, then, um, they're gonna find themselves smacking into mines. And also, 
the uh, pop cap for the German players is uh, beginning to run out. Um, Rookman, can he afford? Yeah, it's 26, um, 26 pop cap to get yourself a King Tiger. Walking Stuka charges the front lines, uh, goes down, buys some, uh, buys some pop cap, freed up. But it looks like Rookman's choosing to get himself another squad of Volks Grenadiers. Okay, that's not a good choice. Um, <laughs> he's got enough. Uh, they need some pushing power, or they need to use the pushing power that they have. I'm not sure the Volkswagen Deers are really going to help in that regard. Out of control, T3485 runs over a couple of uh, MG42 dudes, and this T3485 is almost certainly going to go down to the uh, to the Panther. Pack 43 is cleared out by the Howitzer, and looks like both Howitzers are firing on the base. Um, you can see that the, uh, the German armies are just getting smaller and smaller, but they're still extremely strong. Um, is that plane going to get shot down? No. So much howitzer fire. Now what do we have for Rufio? <laughs> Rufio is reduced to uh, purely infantry and uh, AT guns at this point. And his infantry is not very strong. Um, he really needs to get his T-3045s back and just kind of use them as the uh, infantry support. Um, Try to hold the middle VP, use the T-3485s to fight the uh, infantry as they come up to the center, let his conscripts, and uh, just hurl themselves again and again into the uh, <laughs> into the victory point. Not the most elegant way to win, but you know, you do what it takes. The howitzer is ready to fire once again. The second howitzer also nearly up, and the panther is pushing forward. The AT guns are not faced particularly well, so uh, this Panther is going to be able to push pretty far. It's one, two, three, four sets of mines. Um, this Panther goes any farther forward. He's at risk of running into those. The second Panther is coming up as well. These, these combat engineers need to get off the top of this mine. One Panther hits a mine. <laughs> oh my god. Three howitzers in uh, Severino's base. Because even if, uh... Ooh. Ooh. Ugh. There's gotta be something, uh... Please tell me there's, like, a... something around that can help fight off these Panthers. Other than just conscripts. Uh... Howitzer destroyed. Second Howitzer... in danger of being destroyed. Multiple howitzers in danger of being destroyed. <gasps> Panther gets abandoned. Panther doesn't know what it wants to shoot at. Does it want to clear out the AT gun or does it want to try to destroy the other? The Panther. Oh my god. The frontal shot. <laughs> ah! If this Panther gets abandoned also. Oh, that's what a bummer. <laughs> stolen Zist barrages uh, to kill the stolen Panther. Both Panthers are destroyed. And it looks like each of the German players is left without any kind of vehicle. This says uh, this guy needed to stop firing a moment ago so that it could start laying its shots onto the T-345. And so let's see which howitzer got destroyed. So it looks like the second howitzer got destroyed. And Severino almost has enough uh, manpower saved up to get himself a uh, third howitzer. Well, fourth howitzer at this point. Ridiculous. Uh, airborne assault is called in on a nearly unoccupied sector. There's just a machine gun and the mortar over there. And conscripts are once again trying to crawl into the center, lacking any kind of support. Ooh, okay, never mind. Uh, lacking anything but uh, 120 millimeter mortar support. Ugh. 
What a unlucky um, Falstrom Jaeger squad. This Falstrom Jaeger squad gets uh, suppressed. It's too bad these concerts are retreating. They could have just run over and cleared them out. The squad's pinned and they're going to remain pinned despite the uh, performance of their anti tank grenade. And it looked like the, uh, the strafe is just targeting the dead, uh, well, dying infantrymen. Ooh! may have been the Pack 43 that got that kill. Looks like it was. There's also a Zis Barrage. Now let's see. Look at Severino's base. <sighs> Building a new howitzer almost on top of the old one. This game is so fun. I mean, alright. I can get his, uh... <laughs> I can get his cynicism, but, uh, I don't know. It's not like any side is using all of their units to the max. New Panthers in production. And... <laughs> yeah, this is some ridiculous turtling going on from the OKW players. Uh, just really leaving themselves vulnerable to these uh, um, to these howitzers. It's a damn good thing that uh, Severino picked a commander that has a howitzer. Okay, let's see. One, two, one, two... Okay, so this one's two. Alright, there we go. And he's attacking the base buildings, but he might just want to just pound around uh, this area to give himself room, him and his uh, teammate room, to come up into the center and uh, take his VP for themselves. So much infantry from the German players. Um, looks like two Zis guns and a Pack 43. Let's watch where these rounds are falling. Oh, there's a nice hit. <laughs> Another nice hit. Uh, damages the pack and kills one of the crew members. Your shock troopers... Oh, that's not shock troopers, it's just PPSHs. Fighting this machine gun, they've somehow managed to get to where the machine gun can't actually see them. Oh man, party wars. Shelt 2015. Roofman's gotten himself a new Panther. I'm not sure why he didn't just get himself a King Tiger. Um, and all the artillery going in on the base, and we've got three howitzers, at least dedicate one of them to just weakening up this uh, territory. So that you're, yeah, you and your teammate can move in and take the damn, uh, take the damn middle VP. So it looks like Rufio's called himself in a new T3485. Hopefully it'll last a bit longer than some of the other ones. And, uh, your plane getting shot at. And... This could be a really nice Molotov, actually. Maybe the last thing that the Conscript Squad does. Oh, AT gun is cleared by the howitzer. Very nice. Looks like people are complaining in game about uh, about the way that this is going. I'm actually uh, very much enjoying all of the howitzer play. Uh, it's pretty ridiculous, but. Um, I think the uh, Soviets are doing a ooh a nice job of responding. To the play. Oh man, that squad retreated a bit too early. They should have picked up the Panzer Shrek and then run. More artillery fire. Kills the machine gun. This should be a great time to start firing one of the uh, howitzers onto this uh, base sector. And these Falstrom Jaeger are forced back. What is this? Looks like zeroing artillery, but that uh, ability is actually bugged right now, so it doesn't work the way that it's supposed to. And looks like we're going to see the uh, Zis gun try to capture the middle BP. Um, I guess we'll find out how bugged it is as these. Uh... <laughs> oh my god. Once again, two, four, two pack 43s and uh, two Zis guns, three machine guns. And. Yeah, I mean, at least the uh, two teams are trying to complement each other's uh, particular strengths and weaknesses. 
uh, the gaps in their armies. Oh, T3045, it's going to be miraculous if that thing can escape. Nope, it does not escape, down it goes. So the first howitzer that Severino built has got 30 kills and is vet 3, so that lets it fire... Well, first off, it lets it fire farther, and it also just lets it fire crazy fast, too. Well, wait, is that right? Does it increase the uh, reload speed? No, I don't think it does. Um, but it does certainly shoot farther. I think vet 2 does that. Oh, hit here. All three howitzers are firing. Looks like the OKW player is taking back the center. Mm -hmm. More explosions happening somewhere down here. Considering that Severino obviously knows where the uh, Pack 43s are, or seems to have a good idea of where they are, I'm surprised that he's not using Precision Strike to um, to hit them. And, uh, and clear them out. I'm not sure how many shots it takes for Precision Strike to, uh, to clear one of those pack 43s. And Rufio's army is getting pretty tiny right now. Gamely trying to take back the center BP. There goes a nice Molotov. Looks like it's not... Oh, it is going to do a bit of damage. And this gun is cleared by one of the howitzers. And he's got so many howitzers, this, uh, they're basically constantly firing uh, when you have three of them. The, <laughs> the OKW forward base is just completely strewn with wreckage, and the uh, allies have managed to take back the, um, the center of the map once again. Bunker is going down, that's... <laughs> I don't know why you build a bunker when there's three howitzers shooting at you. Maybe he thinks there's only two. Let's see where these uh, rounds are falling. Back 43 is cleared. Shvera Panzer headquarters nearly destroyed. And once again, this uh, battle group headquarters is not getting shot at. Uh, it'd be really nice to do that. New machine gun out for Rukman. Bringing him up to... Uh, he only has two. He's got his panther, which has been sitting back, not contributing to the fight for a long, long time. And looks like the allied players are just trying to reconstitute their armies. And oh, I thought that was a fourth howitzer. <laughs> New T-3045 arrives. Let's see, has Rookman been putting down more mines? Okay, good. He's got quite a wide minefield right here. And then one, two, to prevent further attacks. And the Germans are just camping up the center of the map once again. King Tiger's in production from uh, Derek Fisher. Um, it's about time. <laughs> uh, I'm surprised we haven't seen one of those earlier. He's decided not to get a... Uh, Oh no, he has rebuilt his pack 43, so he's got two pack 43s. I still really don't get the double pack 43. It seems uh, redundant to me. And uh, Rookman's got a mostly. I mean, this is like the uh, a 1v1 army that you would normally see. And. Hmm. I kind of wish he would get himself a uh, Sturm Tiger just, you know, just for the hell of it. So, Severino's not firing his howitzers yet. Like, he's actually way over pop cap right now. Um, 107 out of 100. Rufio could <laughs> could benefit from some of those. Uh, could benefit from some of the. Uh, I mean, um, from some of the fuel that he's blown. He's got over a thousand. Which, uh, I mean, this is a team game. Howitzers are beginning to fire. Hopefully they're going to fire, yeah, on the defensive line and not just on the base buildings. Um, they do terrible damage. They're starting to do damage. There we go. Oh my god. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> this bunker didn't last particularly long. 
Bunker's destroyed. Walsh and Meager forced back, and it looks like Rufi is going to be able to take the center VP. Man, um... There's a, uh, there's an achievement, one of the medals that you can get, um... Do they even still have medals anymore? Uh, one of the achievements, I think it's called Blood Toll, where you get, um... Wow, that five machine gun. Um... Where you need to lose, I think it's three times as many, uh infantry as your opponent and still win the game, and I think that Rufio is probably on track. Uh, probably on track to do that. The King Tigers arrive, and see how it does. There's not a whole lot of mines left anymore in the center of the map. But, uh, this thing gets a damaged engine. I can see the howitzers getting fire on it and uh, do quite a bit of damage. Uh, T3485 is trying to pursue it. There's this gun to uh, knock off some more health from the t or, uh, from the King Tiger 245 is getting shot at by pursuing uh, infantry squads. There are some Maxims to try to slow them down. And uh, where are the howitzers? I need to fire onto this blob. 45 kills on one, 15 on another, 13 on another. They really haven't gotten all that many kills. Um, hopefully, he's going to start using them to fire onto the uh, infantry, not just in the headquarters buildings blindly. And. OPW infantry is starting to move into the. Center. Looks like they're going to be able to take back that territory for themselves. Panther coming forward also. And Rufio's getting himself another AT gun. We are losing supplies to the enemy. Severino's got two. They're both, uh, one of them is pulled back very far, and the other one is in a really defensive position, though it did actually uh, contribute uh, quite well to forcing the King Tiger back. King Tiger probably already fully healthy again. Uh, it's getting fixed up by some Sturm Pioneers, a <laughs> Panzer Shrek, and uh, and by the Repair uh, Repair Pioneers. <sighs> it would be really nice to see the uh, Sturm Pioneers equip a Minesweeper and follow the King Tiger as it pushes forward like that, so it doesn't hit any of the mines. All right. Severino's howitzers are all ready to fire, and Dean. Maybe it's time to pull the trigger again. Okay, looks like one of them is getting set up. All of them are beginning to fire. Strafe is called in. Hopefully he's firing one of them at the base. Um, yeah, looks like at the headquarters. Oh, nasty hits. May even be doing some kind of like uh air sets. Oh! <laughs> Wow, almost all of Rufman's army just got killed by those barrages. Pac-43 is destroyed, Schwerer Panzer headquarters is destroyed, he lost, I think, three or four squads of infantry, and the King Tiger even takes a hit. Uh, Derek Fisher is um, down to only one, only one Pac-43, as the King Tiger and Panther start coming into the center of the map. 18 guns not facing the right direction, these conscripts need to retreat. Oh, they merge into the gun, okay. It'll help it survive a little bit longer. But uh, there's another AT gun in the background. It fails to penetrate. T3045 needs to maybe just ram the rear armor of this uh, KT. Looks like a strafe is coming in to try to chase off all of this infantry. Uh, suppresses all of them. And the King Tiger is maybe going to get stuck behind enemy lines. T3045, come on, ram, do it! Is that just a deflection on the rear armor? Uh, so I just heard a plane crash, fighting in the middle as this uh, AT gun is getting murdered by the, uh... oh, this pan this Volkswagen squad only has two Panzer Shreks, it can't actually really fight the, uh... can't actually really fight, and looks like the KT is actually going to kind of get stuck where it is, there are no mines around here as far as I can tell, uh, that's a bit of an oversight. So the KT will probably be able to escape on, uh, without, before it gets destroyed. Clumped up infantry here, that's bad. You want to spread them out so they don't get suppressed by a single <laughs> stolen Maxim. There's an MG34 as well in the back, and it sounds like the howitzers are firing. King Tiger gets a damaged engine. 
and AT gun sets up to try to hit it as well. Pack 43 cleared by one of the many, many, many howitzers. Two vet three howitzers and a vet two howitzer. Awesome. AT gun needs to kill this King Tiger as fast as it can. KT goes down, and Derek Fisher is left with a pack 43. Two Volks Grenadiers. Okay, no pack 43. That just got killed. And some Sturm Pioneers with a Panzer Shrek. Hey, you remember like 30 minutes ago when I said this was just OKW face stomping the uh, Soviets? <laughs> uh, so I think this is kind of, uh, you know, neither players have done a particularly great job of pushing the advantage they have, but man, Severino I think has kind of made the right move with the Howitzer spam, as much as that's something I thought I would never say. Howitzer spam in a 2v2. Rufio also just being willing to charge again and again and again into the enemy line, taking just horrible casualties. And the German players are both in uh, pretty bad shape. <laughs> um, the infantry uh, could actually just probably charge straight up into the base right now. The Sturmtiger was beginning to be built by Derek Fisher. Um, Perhaps a misclick. Hold out a little bit longer and then maybe get himself a. Uh, what's going on over here? Another bunker being built. Not really what he needs to spend his manpower on. He's getting himself another Sturm Pioneer squad. Uh, I'm honestly agog that we've not seen a single Oversoldat in this entire match. Um, if he had like two Oversoldat in squads, the. Uh, the Soviet players just would not be able to deal with it. MG42 bunker finishes upgrading. I'm sure it's going to get uh, killed very, very quickly. Let's see, Severino's howitzers, for the most part, ready to fire. One of them is uh, preparing. Looks like it's changing direction. 62 kills. Not bad. Howitzer firing to kill the bunker. Mm, okay. He's gonna have uh, two more available, and this uh, last shot might actually catch one of the squad as it retreats. The bunker is destroyed, and that was just a loss of munitions and manpower for Derek Fisher. Panther is far in the back. Um, he's got the machine gun upgraded on this Panther. It would have been really nice uh, to have the Panther just a little bit closer, just to keep the machine gun firing on top of these squads and. Uh, helping the panther get vet up. I mean, even if it's not shooting at any vehicles, um, you want that thing to get vet. Once it gets up to vet 2, it's forward. Um, armor is so strong. Oh. Oh, this is so. This is such a bad idea. Uh, uh, howitzers can just start attacking this uh, Sheriff Panther headquarters and it's gonna go down before, it's finished, uh, before it finishes the building. Panther begins to move up, gets a damaged engine from an AT grenade, and it's getting shot at by AT guns from, well, looks like both players. Is this being hit by howitzers? It really should be. Maybe they didn't see it uh, in production. The Schwerham Panzer headquarters is completed, and it's not actually really close enough to cover the VP. Howitzers are a little belatedly firing on top of it. Oh, another big hit, and uh, these squads really shouldn't be getting this close to something that's under artillery fire. Juicy hits. Oh, uh, vet three shock troopers look like they're actually going to escape. T3045 is backing up into the fight, just because he doesn't care. And AT gun looks like it's uh, using attack ground to try to to try to kill the Schwerer Panzer headquarters. Just some nice barrage targets around. Two Panthers have arrived. They're just pushing around some airplane wreckage. And... Oh man. This match is getting exhausting. Obviously it's not that exhausting to the players. They managed to find so much time. <laughs> so much time to type throughout it. And I can see the Panthers are starting to push down towards the base. Looks like they're just trying to try to rush and kill the uh, 
try to kill the... What are they called? Howitzers. Alright, we'll have a look right now. Okay, yep, destroyed engine on one. The other one is sitting right next to a mine. It also gets a destroyed engine. There's a second mine right uh, on the approach. Machine gun is... Yeah, I'm not sure why the machine gun is there. Um, but I don't... No, actually, these Panthers... Yeah, okay, so they're not probably going to be able to get into the base. They're attempting to fire on one of the AT guns. Getting hit by AT grenades and by... Uh, oh, main gun destroyed. Sad Panther elephant dick. And, uh, trunk, I mean. <laughs> uh, this Panther is going to get thrown away as well. That's why you, uh, need to lead your tanks around with minesweepers in enemy territory. How it's firing again. And it's a bit far. And uh Severino decides that uh okay, whew, we're safe. The uh the Panthers are both destroyed, so now I can go back to trolling my opponents. Or, you know, coffee housing them, playing mind games with them. Man. Such a uh one dimensional game again. <laughs> um it looks like, you know, normally when the game goes on for a really, really uh, long time, the uh, Soviet players tend to struggle as the uh, German players, um, as the German players get stronger and stronger. You just saw the battle group headquarters go down for Rufman. His uh, Schwerer Panzer headquarters is going to go down soon in a minute. Uh, the T-3045 could just roll up and start shooting it. He's probably reasonably paranoid about there being some uh about there being some more pack 43s boom man yeah this is not going to last a whole lot longer uh this fair panzer headquarters that is and one more hit and that's going to go down the combat engineers are even trying to get in on the action but they're gonna die Which finally puts Severino below uh, 100 CP, or 100 uh, pop cap. Schwerer Panzer headquarters destroyed, and both of the um, German armies reduced almost nothing. There's a uh, airborne assault coming in, which, wow, the first pass didn't actually manage to suppress anything. Um, and these <laughs> Bolshevik the are landing in a really nasty spot. <laughs> Looks like the mine got tripped by the strafe. They have to retreat immediately, and they're going to get shot at. They can even get pursued uh, by this T-3045 all the way back to the base. There's really nothing to stop them. Well, it's a good thing Severino's got Vet-3 on, um, on a couple of his uh, AT guns. He needs it to uh, actually still have some targets left to fire at. Nice strafe does a bunch of damage as these squads retreat back to their, uh, retreat a couple of yards remaining back to their, uh, battle group headquarters, which is under fire. Mm -hmm. Where's this firing? Where are you firing? Look how far this thing can fire at Vet 3. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> it can hit, like, outside of the map. So... Yeah, it's a good thing he uh, got so much vet on there. All right, a bit more coffee housing going on. Nasty grenade from the Falschermeager uh, blows a construct squad to pieces. More strafes going in on the base. There's still the uh, base AT guns uh, remaining, but other than that. There's nothing to uh, stop those planes anymore. All of the Schwerer Panzer headquarters. Oh no, there is actually still one Schwerer Panzer headquarters still around. Infantry getting chased on back to base. Rufman is just desperately trying to uh, call out, um, call out these uh, Alshamager squads. And uh, see, this house has just been garrisoned for most of the game by Rufio, possibly only to prevent um, Alshamager from topping out of there. Though, I have to say, if that is why he was doing that little tip, which is that you can uh, 
items. Put flamethrowers on your combat engineers and tell them to either attack, move, or attack ground um, a building, and they'll just keep shooting at it until it burns down. Panther is in production from, uh, looks like Derek Fisher. And that building is going to go down before the Panther finishes, I guarantee it. You know, you gotta give it to these uh, OKW players, they're holding out to the bitter end. Um, built to see what they could get that would turn this around. Derek Fisher pulling off a nice little flank right here to try to come around to the side, but there's actually a... Uh, Another Maxim in the background, and I think that was possibly a barrage fired onto this uh, squad of Storm Pioneers. They retreat on back to base. They get killed, uh, sniped by. Oh, that wasn't by the Zist, that was by the uh, T3045. Derek Fisher is down to two units. Rookman doing a little bit better, but uh, still not nearly enough to be able to uh, contest. Contest with the. Uh, Soviet players. Artillery is continuing to fall. And. I'm not actually entirely sure where. Man. And Rufio is making a leisurely uh, jaunt up the left side of the map to start capturing the. Uh, this is going on go2.org. <laughs> well. I think uh, maybe we can make a guess at... Um, maybe we can make a guess as to who was uh, the player who put this... Uh, who put this replay up or sent it to me. I'm not actually sure this made it onto go2.org. Desperation Pack 43 is going down just outside of the OKW base. Not the place where you want to be placing one at, um, at more than an hour into the game. Particularly when there are at least two howitzers around that can uh, that can hit the uh, that can hit this at will. Only 24 kills. 44, 75. I can't say that I particularly like seeing all this uh, all this bad mouth thing. Come on, guys, be good to each other. It's just a game. We're all friends. Oh, strafe goes in on the base. That plane doesn't get shot down. It'd be pretty funny if it did and landed on those conscripts on the top BP. AT guns is being left out to left out to dry. And Rufio's got himself three T-3045s now. And are we seeing any howitzers firing over here? Looks like the uh, first howitzer, the 75 kills, is starting to fire. Might as well just start walking artillery into the base at this point. Well, we got, uh, wow, another battle group hit for us. Um, Rookman looks like he popped out some, uh, what do they call balls from Jaeger, to uh, take down the left BP, and see, that's the, uh, that's the spirit, I guess. All of the howitzers are now vet three, and I believe all of them can reach into the uh, OKW base now. Shock trips. Are not actually going to win that fight, even with vet three. Uh, these guys can just hide behind this. Uh, territory sector. <laughs> Actually, um, the VPs are so low that uh, um, Rookman could even continue trying um, could continue trying to, yeah, you know, 
Drain down the VPs. I don't think it's gonna work. But I think uh, the writing on, is on the wall for this game. Oh, nice grenade. Uh, the T-3045 uh, is getting repaired by conscripts under fire, and howitzers are continuing to rack up the kills. Base is surprisingly unscathed. So yeah, these howitzers can definitely, uh, a couple of the howitzers can definitely reach into the base. So, however this match turns out, this is going to be the uh, last thing that I cast for today. Um, got work to do, and this match is just going on forever. Just going to watch the clock drain out. Eight BPs left. It's only going to last a few more seconds. And... Go. Playback over. So, yes, that was that match, and uh, I'm uh, I'm gonna be real. I'm impressed that Severino and Rufio uh, managed to pull that out. Um, I think Fisher and Rufman kind of squandered the advantage um, that they had in the uh, I guess I can call it the mid game, the late game that lasted from about 25 minutes until one hour and almost six minutes later on so yeah that was uh... that was this match that was some pretty crazy use of artillery oh my god look at all the resources from Severino Derek Fisher actually probably could have called himself out another King Tiger at the end of the game man if these guys if you'd not invested so much into these pack 43's you could have been getting KT's could have been getting Panthers and been pushing instead of just trying to uh, just camp up this part of the map not a particularly great move, uh, especially once he saw the first howitzer. It should have been like, okay, time to change the game plan. Um, anyway, yeah. So that was this game. If you've been watching out there in Twitch TV land, thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna close this one out. Just turn on a bit of music and uh, go get myself some water. Oh my god.